Queen officially ends summer at Balmoral early, arriving at Sandringham with Prince Philip. The Queen has officially left her Scottish residence of Balmoral, marking the end of Monarch's annual summer holiday. However, the Monarch 94 will still spend some time with her husband Prince Philip 99 at Sandringham before heading to Windsor to continue her royal engagements. She and Philip were seen being driven away from the Balmoral estate en route to the airport, according to Daily Mail. Despite the end of summer getaway upon them, the Queen and the Duke were happy enough to wave at photographers from the vehicle. The couple will now spend around two weeks in each other's company before the Queen gets back to work. According to Buckingham Palace spokesperson, the Queen will return to Windsor Castle at some point next month. The spokesperson said, subject to the finalization of the autumn program, Her Majesty's intention is to return to Windsor Castle in October and to resume the use of Buckingham Palace for selected audiences and engagements. These plans will be kept under review and will of course be subject to all relevant guidance and advice. This week, it was revealed Prince Philip will also be joining the Queen when she returns to Windsor for her royal duties. The Duke would have preferred to stay at Sandringham, royal sources told the son. However, there would not have been enough staff to run two bubbles in order to keep the two royals safe. One, should, one source added it made far more sense to have the Queen and Prince Philip in the same residence. Not only the Duke of Edinburgh lives in Sandringham, while the Queen carries out her royal duties in Windsor. The Queen and Prince Philip stay at Balmoral for around six weeks, but the following period will see them spending even more time together. Indeed, royal experts have suggested that the couple have spent more time together through the coronavirus pandemic than usual. Joe Little, managing editor of Majesty magazine, has say the couple have spent more time under the same roof recently than in many years. Sandringham in Norfolk is the Queen's country estate and has been used by British monarchs since the 19th century. It is still often used by royals today with Sandringham's house surrounded by 60 acres of garden according to Sandringham estate website. Traditionally, Sandringham is also the royal family's Christmas and New Year getaway. However, these plans may be affected if the government's new rule of six coronavirus restrictions continue until the end of this year. In other royal news, the Caribbean island nation of Barados has announced its intention to remove the Queen as its head of estate by next year.